we're going to have a look at now how to establish a low knee shield half guard and this is a more advanced move but I want to share it with you anyway and the reason it's more advanced is because I am changing the mechanics of how I use my frames to try to trick my opponent into giving me an attack. So for example, with the high knee shield, I am very safe because I'm using all my frames to keep my opponent off me. With a low knee shield, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this knee. It's going to be shallow. It's not going to be all the way across. It's not even going to be in the middle of a body. It's just going to be on a far hip. And my bottom leg is going to go as deep as possible. So you'll see here that I'm not actually using my knee in front of the hip to control this or protect this inside space. So although it looks like I'm giving my frames up, what I'm actually gaining is an opportunity to attack. Um, and I'm gaining a different control. So I'm giving up frames to protect my inside space in um, exchange for complete control of one limb. Now, this is one of our second principles. So we've talked about our first principles, inside space, etc. One of the secondary principles is if you can completely control one limb, for example, controlling her knee line, she's not going to be able to pass anyway, even if I'm not using my frames. Um, so what I'm doing is by putting this leg as far through as possible and this as shallow as possible, if we just spin, is I'm giving myself as much shin as possible to cross. So you see I've crossed my legs like this. Bottom leg stays on the bottom, top leg stays on top. I don't want to be deep like this and just cross my feet because there's going to be a lot of tension, a lot of torque going through this here where my two legs join. So I want them to be as deep as possible. So this top one needs to be as shallow as possible and this bottom one needs to be as, uh, as deep as possible to get uh, the ability to cross my ankles. And what I'm going to be doing is, although I'm going to be squeezing my knees, that's a very weak motion, I'm going to be pushing my top knee against Laura and pulling my bottom leg towards me like this. And what it's going to do is prevent Laura from being able to put her leg on top of my leg to control my knee line. In fact, by doing this, by controlling her entire limb with two of my limbs, I'm controlling her knee line. So if Laura starts trying to put her knee on top of my bottom leg now, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay? Now, in the event that my legs aren't strong enough or I'm not good enough or she does something to start passing and she's able to put her leg on top, we're just going to do the same moves we did before. Control the elbow on one side, control the elbow on the other. The first move, if you're quick, is to stretch your legs. No need to cross them because they're already crossed. Okay, and then bring them back, suck her back in, and she'll be in the same position. Or she manages to get her leg on top, and maybe she's weaving as well. I can just frame, elbow, turn face down, pull my leg out, and come back. Now you're probably going to have to come back to a high knee shield, and then switch to a lower knee shield again, because it's going to be a longer process to get your bottom leg in and you don't want to be putting it um, in at a point where they're attacking you because they, you are giving up your inside space uh, and you're not safe until you have full control of this bottom limb. So I would recommend going to a normal knee shield first and then to a low knee shield. But it's a very powerful guard. Make sure you get the torque right. Top knee pushes, bottom leg pulls like this uh, and their leg should be completely controlled. But the, um, the reset is exactly the same as the last two resets that we talked about. But the difference in strategy is this. Although it's keeping Laura away, she can put her weight on me. And I want her to be putting her weight on me. If she does not put her weight on me, I do not want to be playing this guard. If I play this guard and she put, starts putting her weight on me, thinking she's going to smash into me, that's exactly what I want. The only thing I have to bear in mind is I have to have my upper body frames in place because my legs are not effective frames here. I'm not keeping her weight off me. So, what I need to be doing is at least having this top arm across her shoulders so she can't grab my head. Because my head is very easy to grab from here, which is going to help her to pass. If I've got a normal knee shield, it's not easy to grab. Right? It's hard for her to close this distance. So I want her to feel safe. I want her to be putting her weight on. But just to make sure I don't get smashed, I have to have this top frame in place. Um, and if you can keep that in place, then it's going to be safe to start playing the more advanced, riskier, but possibly higher reward moves that we'll be doing from, from the low knee shield sequence.